The sharp, sudden left turns of Martinsville Speedway are accomplices in righting wrongs. Long, lingering memories of past indiscretions can be unleashed on NASCAR's oldest track, and the evidence can be easy to hide. Excuse me. It's a short track racing. Two previous rounds of playoff tension can quickly bubble over to this short track in Southern Virginia. After Matt Kenseth found himself in the Kansas tornado of Joey Logano. You tell him. Tell him to hide behind his daddy. After a rather checkered final restart at Talladega. The four not going. They wreck behind him. The intrigue of possible playbacks thickens. Rick turned right and wrecked the crap out of me, man. I'm sick. For Chase race number seven. Leaving all to wonder who might be bumped off next when the usual suspects line up. A nudge. Keselowski gets into him. A rub. There he yep. goes. <laughs> That's just racing. It becomes an alibi. What in the hell went wrong? He just bombed it in there like a moron. Motives can be murky on this half mile when the true meaning of a message can be lost in the shuffle on this paper clip. He's going to wreck his 48. A little retaliation there. Brian Vickers retaliates against Casey Kane. That's 78. Took me out. Payback may very well be on the menu. Casey Kane just got payback for the payback. Push it out. Whatever you got to do. 1 in 83. Yeah, by him. Oh, he missed it. Danica just took Junior out. That ain't going to be a popular move. Here at Martinsville. 500 patient laps at Martinsville, Virginia.